We're here to convey an unequivocal message that the United States government and the United States people stand behind climate action. There are people who want to kick up dust, who want to create confusion as to whether the United States will stand by its commitments, uh, but we will. I've been working in the climate space for more than 20 years and I've never felt so hopeful. We've got 150 heads of state in the same place, which has literally never happened in human history. We in Hawaii understand uh, how important it is to take care of our island home. And I think as you look about uh, this conference, people are starting to understand that it's really an island earth uh, and that we cannot afford uh, to do damage to the place uh, where we live. One of the key aspects is the ability to revisit this thing uh, every so many years, uh, whether that's four or five or six years. It's really critical that we don't leave this alone because uh, whatever is agreed to, uh, frankly, this week, even though it's a great start, it's not going to be enough. Uh, we ought to be able to go from the projected 2.7 degrees Celsius uh, down to 1.5 uh, and maybe even lower. I think people sort of uh, uh, swing between being uh, feeling a sense of urgency and feeling a sense of hope, and I want them to feel urgent about it. This is a, a terribly important problem, and it's upon us right now, uh, but also to have a sense that there is global momentum to solve this problem. We've got the almost 98% of the carbon emissions represented at COP21, uh, and we're taking action. It's not enough, but it's an incredibly important start.